Adult pectus excavatum is one of the most common congenital chest wall deformities, and it occurs in about one in 200 live births with a predominance in males. It oftentimes can be detected right at birth. People might think this is just the way I'm born and it doesn't even occur to them that this could actually be a medical condition that's affecting the way they breathe and affecting the way that they can exercise. Being able to fix the pectus, remove that pressure that the sternum is actually having on the heart and the lungs can make a big difference for people in terms of what their symptoms really are and what their capabilities are. The description of the NEST procedure from my standpoint, we've got somebody asleep in the operating room. We're making two small incisions just outside the pec muscle on each side to be able to have a spot where we can insert the bar. It's then gonna duck underneath the sternum and in behind and out again on the other side so that a straight bar is really providing the force to push out the sternum and make it align with the rest of the chest cavity and keep it in that position. Every defect is unique and the way that we bend the bar at the time of the operation is different based on that individual patient's defect. So we've developed a new way to work with our radiologists to predict how best to shape your individual bar to give you the best cosmetic outcome at the end of the procedure. The biggest complication from an adult standpoint are one, having good pain control around the procedure and then the early post-op periods or someone can really tolerate having the bars in place and then go through the requisite time that it takes for the whole chest wall to remodel around the bars such that when you take them out, um, everything's gonna stay in place and we're gonna be able to achieve the, the long-term result that we're looking for. We work in a very multidisciplinary fashion, both with our pain team, our pediatric surgical colleagues, and we often collaborate with each other to provide the best outcome for the patients. We see it in large enough volumes and do a large enough volume of these procedures that you're gonna be well looked after, you're gonna have it done right. We're happy to evaluate anybody with any evidence of a pectus at all, and doing some of the preliminary testing in order to tease out whether there's really a, a symptomatic relationship is a relatively straightforward thing to do with non-invasive tests, but it really does take a team of experienced providers to really be involved in someone's situation in order to help sort that out.